This is planet Earth, the third planet from the sun. It's where we live. That's right, Marco. Luckily for us, planet Earth has everything we need, like water, plants, and animals. The Earth is the only one of the eight planets in our solar system that has enough water and enough air for us to breathe. But why? All other planets are either too close to the sun. For example, Mercury is... Too hot? True. Or they are too far away. So Jupiter is... Too cold. And too gassy for life on Earth. So our planet Earth is in just the right place. Yes. It's the third planet orbiting our own star, the sun. <gasps> Air. And water. Thanks, planet Earth. Let's learn how to play. Get ready to read. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. So many stars. Wait a minute. What's that? It looks like a red dot. That's the planet Mars. It's red because it's covered in or rust. I wonder what I'd find on Mars. What's that? That's a Mars rover. These are robots which take photographs so we can see the landscape of Mars. Mars isn't just red. It's brown, wool, gold, and green. <gasps> and look at that deep canyon. That's Valles Marineris, the deepest canyon in the solar system. And that's one super high mountain. It's called Olympus Mons the largest volcano in the solar system. It's three times the height of Mount Everest on Earth. Well, Mars certainly holds a few records in the solar system. So long, Mars the Mighty. Goodbye. Find the matching numbers. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It looks like that planet has a hula hoop around it. What makes Saturn special is that it's a gas planet with rings around. See them from Earth with a telescope. Wow, they're so bright and so big. Yep. Three of the other planets in our solar system, Uranus, Jupiter, and Neptune, but not as bright and big as Saturn's. What are the rings made of? Ice and rock. Scientists believe that moons, which once surrounded Saturn, broke into pieces when they were hit by asteroids. They look like sparkly dust. Some of the pieces are as small as pencil points. Others are bigger than houses or elephants. Wow, amazing. And from Earth, Saturn's rings really do look just like my hula hoop. Time to get spinning. Find the matching numbers. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Uranus, Gorby. It's turned over to one side. We should tell someone. Uranus is tilted, Gorby, so its rings are vertical. That means they are going from up to down instead of side to side. 
and the planet spins on its side. Okay, but how did that happen? Scientists think Uranus might have been knocked onto its side by many impacts with space objects. <laughs> Look, it has moons! Uranus has at least 27 moons orbiting it and 13 rings. It's a very busy planet. It's what's called an ice giant, Gorby. That means it's made up of a slushy, icy liquid with rock and gas in the center. If Uranus is an ice giant, does that mean it's bigger than Earth? Uranus is four times the size of Earth. So, if the Earth was the size of an orange, Uranus would be the size of a, hmm, basketball. That's a good way to imagine it, Corby. I've got an idea. If I lean over, then Uranus looks upright. <laughs> Let's spell Pluto. Dwarf planets. Venus is a planet in our solar system, almost exactly as our planet Earth. Which planet is that? That's Venus. It's the second planet from the Sun in our solar system. If it's closer to the Sun, it must be hot. It is, Willow. Great! I'm looking for somewhere hot to go on vacation. Somewhere with sandy beaches and crystal clear seas. Sorry, Willow. Venus is a rocky planet covered in volcanoes. Oh. It's way too hot for polos to survive. It's the hottest planet in our solar system. Why isn't Mercury hotter? It's closer to the sun. Venus is hotter because the gases on Venus hold in the heat. While you can't go to Venus, you can still see it from Earth. Venus is one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It looks like Venus is way too hot for a vacation, but I know a planet that's almost exactly the same size and just the right temperature. Which planet is that, Willow? Planet Earth! Where I can stare at Venus in the night sky. Let's learn how to play. Get ready to read. Mercury. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. If you look at our solar system, you can see the sun. They look like spinning balls. They do, Chester. There's our Earth. Oh, yeah. And the planet nearest to the sun is Mercury. Correct. It's the smallest of the planets. Chester, do you know how many days there are in an Earth year? I do. About 365. Yes, that's the time it takes for the Earth to go round the Sun. Oh, Mercury goes round quicker. Well noticed. That's because its path around the Sun is much shorter. It only takes 88 Earth days for Mercury to orbit the Sun. Whoa, 
<laughs> I guess we should have a Mercury New Year's party every 88 days then. Party time! Let's write Mercury. Planets with rings. Half the planets in our solar system have rings around them. In Gorby, I'm playing planets. I'm pretending to be Saturn. See, Saturn's got rings around it, and I'm wearing my rubber ring. Saturn has the largest group of rings. What are the rings made of? Mostly dust and rock. Like Saturn, Jupiter is made of gas. Jupiter's got rings too! Uranus has 13 rings that run vertically from top to bottom, rather than across from side to side like the other planets. Neptune is an ice giant and has six rings. Hey, I just realized. The gas and the ice planets in our solar system are the ones that also have rings. Nash wants to play planets now. Come on, Nash. You can be Jupiter with your rubber rings, and I'll be Saturn with mine. Oh, wow! Beep! Find the matching numbers. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Neptune. I'm reading about it in my book. Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. It's so far that it took scientists some time to spot it. But Neptune is very big. Nearly four times bigger than the Earth. It looks so peaceful. I could go there to read my book. You might get a bit distracted on Neptune, Chester. Why? It's a very cold planet with strong winds and raging storms. It's what's called an ice giant. Ice giant? That means it's made of rock and ice with slushy, icy liquid on the surface. Look, Neptune's got spots. What do you think they are, Chester? My book says the dark spots on Neptune are actually storms. Hmm. Yep, definitely easier to read all about Neptune than read on Neptune. Feeding time! Mmm. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. Welcome to the eight planets in our solar system. This one is the biggest of them all. It's Jupiter, and it's super massive. You could fit 1,300 Earths into Jupiter, Gorby. It also has the biggest moon, Ganymede, and the of the Great Red Spot. The storm has been going for 300 years. Whoa! 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 What's also special about Jupiter is that it has a solid core, and the rest of it is made up of gas. Jupiter and Saturn are both gas planets. Gas planets? <laughs> They could have a competition to see who's the smelliest. P.U. Good job, Jupiter. The biggest in everything.
Go! Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to Earth. Dwarf planets. Some planets in our solar system are actually dwarf planets. Those are the eight planets in our solar system. Do you know their names, Chester? Mercury? Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And what about these? Hmm, they look like planets too, but I've never seen them before. Those are called dwarf planets. They're just like the other planets in our solar system, in that they only orbit the sun and have a rounded shape. Look at those asteroids! This is the main difference between the other eight planets and the dwarf planets. The dwarf planets haven't cleared away the space debris around them. Debris is space objects, like asteroids, ice, and rocks. Hey, that's Pluto! Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. And it's got debris around it! So, Pluto is a dwarf planet. Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. The others are Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. So, Chester, do you think you'll be able to learn their... Pluto, Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. <laughs> Names? <laughs> I'm a fast learner. <laughs>